Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Keymaker Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Dawn. Now, we're actually going to rest here. Uh, I decided to do it on camera so that you can see the party banner. Because some people want to see that. And... Oh, I don't need ability scores, so I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, nine hours. Aren't you tired of being so polite and soft? Don't you want to let off some steam, huh? Go on, pick up a sword. Let's practice. I won't hit you too hard. Thank you for your caring, but I don't want to take up arms. These hands like to heal wounds, not inflict them. <laughs> There we go. Huh, and that'll get rid of some of our uh, our weight issues. Something bothering you? Alright, I'm gonna cast this a few times. Alright, everybody's in the green, and let's quick save before something awful happens. Right, let's make I'm sure everybody's set up correctly. Alright. I just quick saved. Alright. Let's continue. So we've got some killing to do. What was that? A no, giant. Spitting giant centipede. Oh, I hate these guys so much. Let us strike as one! I'll take care Anything of it. Possible. I'm sorry, you don't need to be casting magic missile. Nobody hold except for Valerie. You need to get up front. Do not falter. Oh, oh, whoopsies. Repent. All right, there's no more spitting centipedes. Let's get Amiri back. Amiri, get back. Or hold your ground, whatever. You decide you want to run ahead, that's fine. It took like six damage for it, so good job. Oh, this takes us back up to the outside. Then it takes us. I'm not going to go through there yet. No, we should better go back through it. Let's let's go through it. This should take us up to the surface, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, on the western side of the map, there's an entrance to the caves. But I guess you can't see it. Yeah, there it is. See it right here. Alright, back in. I do what I must. Spitting giant centipede. Everybody hold. Valerie, go forward. <clears throat> As you order. To victory. You deserved it. You forced my hand. Yeah, the spitting giant centipedes can be a bit of a nuisance. I think there's a like a boss centipede down here somewhere. And uh, the spitting giant centipedes messed me up when I fought him last time. I'm off. Alright, the inscription reads, In praise of Taldor and the brave warriors of the 5th Army of Exploration, Fallen, but remembered in honor. Below is a date, year 2014, Age of Enthronement. Interesting. Uh, this room is surely the oldest, most forgotten place in the dungeon. The layer of dust lies thick as a blanket. Okay, so we have to have. Just letting the ink dry. I'm listening. Click the plate to presses. I am yours to command. Skeletal champion. Mm. I am yours. We will prevail. Mary, no, you're supposed to not go that way. Thank you. Onwards. Any last wishes? Um, actually, I also replaced his, um, 
blessed weapon with Scorching Ray. Oh, holy crap. Let's get a big hit from that guy. Come on, guys. Get in there and take care of these guys. Thank you. We need to take care of the big guy with the hammer, because he hits like a truck. One more of these. Alright. Just because of how hard he hits, we gotta, we gotta melt him as fast as possible. He has a ton of health, too. Okay. One more of these, I guess. Hopefully that finishes him off. Alright, that should be okay then. Oh, he's focusing on Jathal too. That's not great. There we go. What an awful experience. Masterwork long swords, masterwork great axe, 12 pounds. Half plate might be worthwhile for Valerie. I don't think that she has. She's wearing like banded mail right now, isn't she? Yeah, so now she has 26. Awesome. Remove curse. And quick save. I'm going to assume this is a Oh, it's not. Oh, a Tongi. And half plate. I'm assuming I'm saying that correctly. It might be Tanji. Oh, she's gained two armor class in a very brief period of time. Alright, we're not in great shape. Again, I'm not worried about Jathal, because she can't die-die, because she's already undead. And she can take lethal damage repeatedly, without any uh, repercussions. I'm there. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to just use her as the, uh, the tank for a while. Because until she gets hit, uh, she can tank up a bunch of attacks, and even once she gets hit, she'll just stand up again. All right, so yep, northward. There's something here. Yeah, what do I do with it? Time. Oh. Hey, I might hermit. Hello, bud. The might watches you angrily and hisses. Follow if you dare. Okay. Do you have any treasure in here? Assuming that there is, but I missed the perception check. You have my attention. I'm gonna quick save repeatedly here, because you never know when you're gonna have a, a party wipe. And this takes us where? To the old Sycamore Caves. I'm just gonna hop on up real quick and then back down. All right, it's the first entrance to the depths that we found. Yeah, skeletal champions are nasty. I think they're the nastiest enemies you fight down here outside of maybe the centipede boss and uh, the actual final boss of the dungeon. But the final boss of the dungeon actually makes your job pretty easy. 
considering he kills like half of his adds by himself. All you have to do is worry about surviving his initial attack. And then it's all good. Alright, so that way, I guess we're going I do what southeast. I Is there a passage up here? Yeah. We'll get around to it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Whoa, where am I at? Wait, why are we suddenly heavy, heavily encumbered? And then our leader charged forwards. How about I hold, Valerie? You move forward. And everybody go. The cobalt is, has literally been bitten half. No, he hasn't. What's that? Right, another secret door. Interesting. The secret sanctum, well hidden from prying eyes. Why am I suddenly heavily encumbered? Oh, because Jathal lost her uh, bull strength. How much is this worth? 150. Yeah, it's worth holding on to, I think. Yeah, most of these probably are. I'm off. But for the sake of convenience, I can always grab it when I leave, so. The perception checks at the end here. Nope. Alright, we haven't been up that way. Uh, let's go back real quick. I want to follow this eastern path on the bottom here. Yeah, screw, screw the undead. The undead champions. Skeletal champions. At this point of the game. They're pretty... Why are we... I'm listening. Don't hesitate. I'm assuming there's going to be web traps in here. There usually I've are. I shall Someone annoys you. Everybody hold. Your armor. It is why my armor gleams Repent. as it does. Serves you right. for them to engage with Valerie, and then so I want them to come to me so I don't risk running into a trap while we're fighting. Oh no! Sorry, we have restoration stuff. Not worried about it. I don't keep her around for her strength anyway, so. And she actually has more health than she did last time. Because she had one health. She got taken down and or knocked out and picked back up. Now she has three. The size of the structures makes it obvious they were not built by kobolds. You see that? I do see that. Adventures call to them. Now she hasn't critically failed a trap at Watch, all so please. far. We're good. Uh, heavy encumbrance makes this. Uh, Forces me to. Here. I wish there was another way. All right, everybody, hold. Then come to us. This will and attack. Onward. Yeah, having encumbrance forces you to keep an eye out for traps without a. Uh... Actually having to, you know, take your time. Potion of Vanish, always helpful, especially for the back line. 
And honestly, if you don't know what's coming up in a dungeon, I recommend having your backliners have a potion advantage on hand. So if uh, enemies spawn behind you, you can, um, you know, gulp down the potion advantage real quick and get out of, get out of dodge. Giant spider. I am yours to command. Always a one up. Always an unwelcome sight. That's what I'm trying to say. You cannot stand against me. If I hold, let them come to us. Stay behind me. All right. Despicable. Thank you for finally killing that. Mary took much more damage than she needed to right there. That is okay for right now. Let us. I wrote it like I saw it. Yes, yes. I'm not too worried about saving my spells right now. Um, once I this next time I rest, I'll be more worried about saving my spells. I probably have to change some spells up for the uh, the boss fight in the dungeon. I'm listening. Don't hesitate. Scared? Everybody hold. You should be. A ton of spiders right here. You forced my hand. Messed up. Let them uh focus on. Let us strike as one. You deserved it. Amiri. That's not good. Don't want her to take any strength damage. Oh, that's two strength damage. Oh boy. Sorry, I have potions of restoration. Oh gosh. Okay. Come take care of this for me, Lindsay. This, I'm pretty sure, is also a web trap. I do wish there was a way to identify the traps. Oh! Advance! Up, up. All right, giant spider. You're but a footnote in our story. Everybody, hold. Onward. And move forward. All right. Any last wishes? Uh, you should probably go ahead and cast that. I'm thinking about doing glitter dust here. Uh, Tristian. It's not inspected yet, so I don't know. You should have run. Let's have the ads first. You deserved it. Mm-hmm. Does he have natural armor, dexterity bonus? All right, he doesn't have any sort of concealment. Well, there we go, a nice critical hit. Yeah, no concealment. At least it's not that it's identified. So I'm prepared to use fairy fire. Alright, if Lindsay can hit, you guys can hit. You don't need to step it up. Oh wow, minus four dexterity. That's my primary primary stat. It's not cool. Yeah, screw you, giant spider. Restavik, Restavik, Swordlord's Empty Sheath. 
cloak and a wand of true strike. Cloak of resistance plus one. Probably best on. Well, no, she already has one. All right, so my next tank, a ruler's mantle plus one resistance. Okay, and against poison. So you get it. How close are we to leveling up? All right, so we are going to level up again in this in this dungeon. I do. Hundred percent. I wasn't sure, but now I am. It's time to act. All right, so what is our? I have minus four. Ugh. You have minus two. I think minus four is worth a uh, restoration potion. If I can find them, there they are. I have a handful. Yeah, for one, I'm not going to worry about it. Though that would give me my plus five. Might be worth worrying about it. And then you will also get one. Only one strength back, though. All right, whatever. Let's just see. Does she need... Yeah, one more strength to show up. Plus three. Whatever. We'll not worry about it right now. Just getting the one back was a waste. Like she even get her modifier back. I'm there. But I hold Give Valerie forward. I am your shield. What for Gorum? Everybody hold. Again, let Valerie take the brunt of it. Another strength damage to Valerie. Fantastic. Be generous to them, for I am not. All right, suckers. And yes, I am fine moving through the dungeon. Come on, that's obviously a chest. Come on, perception check. No. All right, that gives me an idea, though. Oh, wait, no, this is where we came down earlier. All right, so it's already looted. In due time. Probably. This one's not, though. Reigns of a miner's camp deserted centuries ago. I'm off. Did we go down here? We did not. Which should connect us back over here to this other side. What do we got? Centipedes. All right. I chill out. Quick save again. I am yours to command. Spam the quick save. Two arms. Oh, there are a ton of them in here. Okay. It's okay because they all—they mostly get killed in one hit, so I'm not too worried about it. Let us strike as one. Hold. Let them engage. All right, let's go. Alright, Coolio. A great battle between kobolds and mites took place here. It seems impossible to tell who won. Well, the centipedes won, obviously. Confide in me. I will not be confiding in you, Tristian. So I'm pretty sure the giant centipede is up that way. Could be remembering it incorrectly, but... That's what I feel to be the case. There's a giant centipede. Here. Everybody hold. We should move. Don't hesitate. Something bothering you? I'm listening. Their life ends here. Once more, a ton of centipedes. I don't see any spitting centipedes. Onward! 
good. Try to make this swift. All right, Valerie, get in front. Oh, thank God she critted there. Okay. Don't hold back. There comes the actual. Stay behind me. Bring it. Advance. This is where I step in. So it's come to this. I reduce damage. Sweet. That's right, he gets, uh, as an Asimar, he gets re uh, reduced acid damage. That's a big deal. Get rid of the spitting ones. Oh, she is taking a beating. So for you, Valerie, you continue to take on the Tremendous Centipede for as long as you can. Alright, and I need him to do... Where is it at? I have Rebuke Death on Valerie. <laughs> Did not work. Okay, shoot. Oh, I don't want to reload, but I don't have any way to resurrect her. And I need her for the uh, future fights. Man. Alright, sorry, I had to put an edit in. Uh, the game crashed, and so I figured I'd just cut out the whole segment of me failing. Here. To victory. Just happened a fair few times. Alright, so I'm actually going to start moving these two up this way. Alright, so Don Victus is gonna go up this way. Mary's gonna go take care of this one. Jathal's gonna run this way. And actually, you know what? Before we get too far, we're gonna go bless up. I go and rage up. A bit of dexterity damage, not a big deal. See if they can take out the spitting scorpion or centipedes, not scorpions. So far, not too bad. Let's go and uh, your piercing scream. It's fine, you're okay. We don't really need you. Well, I mean, we do. You hit pretty hard. Alright, we just need to hit it one more time. With literally anybody, thank you. Alright, awesome. I'll take this full out, and we're good. Alright, that was a doozy. We leveled up, though, so the, the fight was worth it. I'm going to go down here, I'm going to clear up this segment of the map real quick, before we level up. Uh, we're about to call it an episode, uh, by the way. There's a huge serpentine trail in the dust, something very large crept through here. I mean, something tremendous tre uh, crept through here. I don't remember this fight being that hard. Or maybe I do, I don't know. It's possible. I think we hit level 4, so we should get an extra uh, attribute point. If I'm not mistaken. I'm there. A light pick. An agile light pick plus one. And for those of you who don't know, agile weapons, they allow you to it's like slashing grace, but on a weapon. 
As your weapons are unusually well balanced and responsive, a wielder with a weapon finesse feat can choose to apply her dexterity modifier to damage rolls with an edge weapon in place of her strength modifier, whichever is higher. The modifier to damage is not increased for two-handed weapons, but is still reduced for offhand weapons. So it's basically it's basically slashing grace, but on a weapon, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and level up. I'm going to take a level of fighter again, and uh, the next level I'll be taking a level of monk, uh, scaled fist specifically. I put another point into charisma for the plus three modifier, and I already have everything I needed to pre uh, perception and mobility. So I put one into oh, persuasion, and then two into knowledge world. Next level, we'll have all the skill points that we need for the uh, sword lord. Let me double check that real quick though. Yeah, so we need five persuasion, three world knowledge, and we're we're solid. Which we won't get till the next level, so. And this level we just get a bonus combat feat. Make sure the state okay. And weapon specialization, a dueling sword. Boom. Alright, and Valerie, I'm gonna go ahead and put a level of monk. Or give her a level of monk. Uh, you want to give her a Scaled Fist because she has a good Charisma score. And uh, Scaled Fist is different than the traditional monks, or the other monks, uh, that use uh, Wisdom as their primary uh, attribute. Scaled Fist will use uh, Charisma as the primary attribute. Where is it at? And it gives you an Armor Class bonus based on your Charisma, but only if you're unarmored. Won't make a big difference for Valerie because she will remain armored. And we're still working towards her. She's going to be a stalwart defender, but she needs a bonus attack of 7. So, And then here, I think I'll just give her constitution, because she already has a high score for it. But I could give her dexterity, because most heavy armors give you a plus 2 dexterity. Plus 2 dexterity, uh... <sighs> heavy armor usually allows you to have the plus 2 modifier from dexterity applied to your armor class. That's usually where it cuts off, so... Not a bad idea to have that. Oh, she really doesn't need athletics. I'm just gonna give her like lore and yeah, screw it. Okay, and then here take crane style. All right, so crane style, you take a minus two penalty on attack rolls for fighting defensively, or you only take a minus two penalty. Normally it's a minus four. Uh, while using this style and fighting defensively, you get an additional plus one dodge bonus to your armor class, which touch attacks do not ignore. Uh, touch attacks do not ignore your. Uh, Dodge armor class. It ignores armor and shield. I guess deflection? Uh, armor class bonuses. So she will have that on all the time as long as she has her. Uh... No, she doesn't need that. So yeah, so now as you can see, she has a plus four instead of a. Oh, she has nothing to her strength. How much. Minus three. That's rough. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Had a hair in my throat. Okay, so for Lindsay, uh, just another level of Bard. Let's give her Charisma. Uh, use Magic Device. Oh wait, what am I doing? Trickery is her primary attribute. What am I doing? Alright, not... Get out of here. Sorry, there's a bug flying around my room now as well. That's annoying. Alright, so Blur is very good. Uh, Heroism is also very good. I might grab Heroism now. And then... Could get Scare. Mirror Image is also very good. Uh, I don't want to give that to her yet. I think I'm going to do Blur. Get some more support spells. Alright, Amiri, another level level of Barbarian. I'm just going to give her Strength. Athletics, Mobility. Perception. Lore of Nature. A deadly accuracy. If the Barbarian scores a critical threat while in Lethal Stance, she applies double the Lethal Stance's bonus when rolling to confirm the critical. Barbarian must have the Lethal Stance Rage Power and be at least 4th level to select this Rage Power. I think... Let's see, while Rage of the Barbarian gains two claw attacks, these attacks are considered primary attacks and are made at the Barbarian's full base attack bonus. The claws do 1 to 6 points of slashing damage, uh, plus the Barbarian's strength modifier. Note totem rage powers grant powers related to a theme. You cannot select from more than one group of totem rage powers, for example. Barbarian. Okay. 
All right, I've never uh, did not realize that. I think I'm gonna do Animal Fury though, because this will give her a bite attack while she's raging, and there's a cloak later on that will uh, that gives her free trip attempts whenever she. Uh, I think she has to land the bite attack, but she gets a free trip attempt from that. All right, uh, Jethal, what does she get here? An extra judgment. I'm just gonna give her strength and. What religion? Perception is her primary. Use magic device. And knowledge arcana. Alright, so here... Uh, so this is cool. I don't think I've pointed this out yet. One of the updates with the Enhanced Edition is you can see who else in your party has the spell available. So you don't get redundant spells. Uh, I am going to get Castigate. You compel a target to beg for forgiveness. On a failed save, the target cowers in fear. On a successful will save, it is shaken for one round. Each round after, a cowering subject may attempt a new save to end the effect. And I think I'm going to get her inflict moderate wounds that allow her to heal herself. Because most of this stuff is available to Tristian as well. But this will also give her damage and... Um, actually, you know what? Let me get back to this. They say wisdom is her recommended attribute. I might do that instead. Alright, yeah, and then I'll get a uh, inflict moderate wounds. Boom. When Tristian levels up, he should just get more... Um... Don't know what I'm trying to say. More spell slots. There we go. Sorry. Got, got uh, distracted. Uh, Fairy Fire, I think, is just really good for him. I'm gonna get Summon Monster there, and then uh, Summon Monster 2 here. I'm gonna get rid of this and probably put Aid or Summon Monster 2. Yeah, there we go. I really want... I think it's a level 3 spell, the uh, protection from or energy resistance communal whatever it's called where's it at yeah resist energy communal uh for the boss fight in this area but all right i'm gonna call the episode here I do what I uh, next episode we will continue clearing out the uh the sycamore deaths now we're level I'm level four this is the i think the minimum recommended level for the stag lord so we made it we're on uh we're on track to uh, get the stag lord defeated within 30 days Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.